A fourth round of talks between Russian and Ukrainian negotiators are still on pause this morning. They're expected to continue later today. Now, just a few minutes ago, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky addressed leaders of the UK Joint Expeditionary Force via video, warning that all of Europe is a target of Russia. He asked all countries to help themselves by helping Ukraine. Um, you understand 100% the level of threat that we're dealing with uh, today. Um, you understand what we are defending from. I can't say uh, from whom we are defending ourselves because I, I don't uh, even consider them human beings. They're like beasts. The president's address came as Russia is working to surround Ukraine with military forces, mainly attacking from the south and heavily bombing residential areas across cities like Kyiv. This morning, a 16-story apartment building in the western Kyiv district of Vyatozhinsky was significantly damaged by shelling and a subsequent fire. Two people were killed and 46 were rescued from the building. A separate strike caused minor damage to a nine-story building in the same district. At least two other residential buildings across the Ukrainian capital were hit by early uh, strikes early this morning, all within an hour of each other. The city's mayor announcing Ukraine's capital has lost an estimated half of its 3.5 million pre-war population and will impose a 36-hour curfew tonight amid a difficult and dangerous moment. That's the face of the war. The mayor's brother, Ukrainian boxer Vladimir Klitschko, showing the wreckage in Kyiv. One person was killed. Six others were hurt following that Russian airstrike in the capital city. In the Twitter video, Klitschko asking for tougher sanctions against Russia. New satellite images meantime show the widespread destruction across Ukraine. They show damaged houses in a village near Kyiv and smoldering homes in the besieged city of Mariupol. More than 2,500 civilians have died in that city alone, and those who remain are without electricity, water, and heat. This morning, Ukraine's military said it repelled a Russian attempt to take control of Mariupol. U.S. officials say Russian forces were forced to retreat. We've made very clear that any country uh, that would seek to attempt to bail Russia out of this economic financial morass will be met with consequences. Meantime, U.S. intelligence has learned Russia has requested assistance from Russia, from China rather, for military and financial aid, but the U.S. is warning China not to help the Kremlin. This morning, China of uh, Foreign Affairs denied Russia has asked for China's military assistance and said uh, the U.S. has created and spread disinformation from time to time. He went on to say this is not only unprofessional but also immoral and irresponsible. Such actions will only make the U.S. lose the trust of the world. He called on the U.S. to deeply reflect on the role it has played in the development and evolving of the Ukraine crisis and called on them to do something practical to ease the tension in Ukraine. I'll send it back to you guys.